Hello. So, I thought I'd um, try and update you a bit more. You will have to bear with me though, because I am shattered. And I mean shattered. I've had a few days of my body just deciding, well, oh, I don't want to sleep. And I am um, tired. So I went to a mate's house last night and um, I didn't drink. I had my, what's it called? It's up there. Asda Sparkling Juice Drink. Yeah. So I had that. It's a bit like rose, but it's bloody lovely, you know. Especially with some ice just out the fridge as well. It's nice though. I had that. And I had a natter with my mates, and then I came home and I thought, oh, if I had a nice natter with my mates, nice ketchup, I'll have a couple of um, my um, Lindor chocolates, and I'll fall asleep. Wish it was that easy. Yeah, it's... He's quiet. So. Elsa cleaning herself here. But yeah, um, it was nice to have a catch up with my mates. Now's the big, um, the big challenge of trying to organise a meal when we're all of, uh, when all of us are available. <sighs> it could be quite difficult though. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, you know, it was it was nice and so I'll to explain what's been happening and everything like that so yeah but I don't know what's up with my sleeping I'm going to bed tired I am genuinely shattered and then I'll put my phone I'll look at my phone for a bit and then I'll put my phone down and I'll try and sleep get up and I'll go to the toilet and then oh god um and then I come back to bed look at the time try and sleep and it's just not happening and it's just weird because it's like oh god I just want a good night's sleep and I'm not a um I'm not a lover of sleeping in the daytime. I don't know, I just, I just never have been a lover of sleeping in the daytime. I don't know, it makes me feel like I'm not, I don't know, like I can't function properly. But saying so, you know, that, I'm just going to sit up. It's a bit uncomfy. And my panel's over here. Come here then, else. Come here. Come here, Elsa. Psst, 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 psst. Sorry. You know, when you move, you've got to get yourself comfortable. And I'm, you, you leave Odin alone, he's sleeping. Look at that little bugger waking him up. Ah, oh, she loves her Odin, don't you? Yeah. She's a little bit on heat, aren't you? Yeah. But yeah, um, I've been getting a little bit of pain in my left side. I can imagine it cancer dying. I can imagine so. Yeah, I'm just not sleeping, not settling. But like I was saying then, okay. Good job is I have done a lot of cleaning today. What are you doing, Tim? She's trying to get him to play with her and he's not doing it. So she's nibbling his head and he's still not playing with her. Elsa, he's trying to sleep. 
Have you seen it? Vicious dogs, yeah? Vicious dogs, my bum. Elsa! He's trying to sleep. He was here alone. Elsa! 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 Dangerous dog, sure. That kitten walks all over him. She's still nibbling now. She's a little bugger, you know. She's licking his ears now. No, no. What's she doing? I oh, know she's nibbling them. No, she's licking. Gentle Elsa. Don't you be mean to Odin. Should be the other way around, shouldn't it? Oh, Mia. Oh, Mia, what is she doing to you? Oh, no, don't climb on me. You're heavy. You're heavy. What is she doing to you? Was she nibbling your ear? Oh, no. Poor Odin. You're so bullied. Oh, God, you're so heavy, though. Come lie here. Come lie here. Good boy. Lie down then. Yeah, get comfy. Yeah. Staffy. Meant to be a vicious, dangerous dog. And a mini mini cat Odin he's gone now to annoy her and she's losing her shit Odin no yeah a miniature cat bites him on his head and he just bugger all it's only to him she thinks a world of candy Odin she doesn't want her face licked. Odes. Odin. Odin. He's going to lick her face. Odin. Come on, leave her alone now. Come on. Come on. Come here. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah, like I said, dangerous dogs, yeah. He wouldn't know how to be dangerous if he tried. He doesn't technically get on so well with other dogs, but it's not because he's a nasty, horrible dog. It's because he's not really used to other dogs. You know, we tried to take him out onto the front and in the field, and whenever people see him in the field, they'd, they'd take their dog away. We'd be like, oh, he's only a puppy. You know, and... Yeah, it's just... What can you do with you? You know, you can only say to them, look, I'm sorry, my, my dog's not going to hurt your dog. Do you let him play? But then he just got used to candy and enjoyed playing with candy. He loves playing with Henry. He loves it. He loves chasing Henry about the front room because he knows Henry will play. Not rough, but because Henry's quite a big, stocky cat, Henry will play quite rough with him. Yeah, you know, then. Mindy hates him. <laughs> yeah. He only has to look at Mindy and she hisses at him. But then Mindy's good with the other cats. So. It's a madhouse here. It's a madhouse. <sighs> I think I've got a bit of... I don't know. I've got a little bit of an infection coming out. I don't know. I keep on getting pains in my left side where majority of the cancer was. Um, sorry, my mind isn't working brilliantly because I am so tired. Um, but yeah, my ankle has been hurting as well. Of all the things to hurt, my ankle that I have, that is my weak ankle. I've got a very weak ankle that hurt when I was 15, I think I was 15, 16, yeah I um, severely sprained my ankle and it's never really bounced back properly but it, it hasn't hurt I guess for a while. Um, I've got a blood test tomorrow, see if I need 
and iron, and uh, not iron, blood and magnesium. So I think uh, I think I might need magnesium. I'm not too sure. Though. And then. Um, Wednesday, free day. Woohoo! Pop a chuffed. Get to a. Uh... Sorry, guys, my head's not with it. I really am not with it. I've got my pan out here. I shouldn't have come and sat on the bed because bed just makes me think of going to sleep. Yeah, um. Wednesday free day. Don't have to do anything on Wednesday, but chill. And then Thursday, my last, uh, my last clatter clatter bridge visit. So, I'm looking forward to having my life back, so to say, so to speak. You know, not having to worry what appointment I've got to go to here, what appointment I've got to go there, here, there, here, there, you know. So, yeah. After this, do you know, I want to go and have a proper makeover. Sounds silly, but I want to go and have my makeup done professionally done. So if there's anyone there that knows of a, uh, not hair and nails, nothing to start, just makeup. Um, and does like proper, pretty makeup. Um, let me know, because I really want to have my makeup done pretty. Um, but yeah, can't wait. We're going for food next Friday to celebrate. I can't wait for that. I really can't. Oh, Elsa, what are you doing to him? What's she doing to you, dude? What's she doing to you? There's nothing there. Oh, should we have a nap, Odin? Should we have a nap? Do you think we should have a nap? Yeah. Nice kisses, yeah. Oh. It's like having a baby, you know. It's like having a baby, isn't it? Yeah, this whole, um... Don't you drink my tea? This whole experience has been such an eye opener as well. You know, it's it's made me realise how strong I really am. It's made me take care of the little memories in life if that makes sense. You know, you can go through days and not do stuff and realise that you've lost days. Just being lazy around the house. Like I'm looking out of my bedroom window now. And I can already see the leaves on some of the trees are yellowy, orange. The leaves are falling. And it makes you think, Jesus Christ, it's the first day of October today. And yet you think to yourself, God, where has this time gone where has this year the summer and everything like that gone and it does make you um it makes you realize how quick time can move so sometimes if i don't look at the um the camera for a while is because I'm sure I need glasses, you know. I'm um I'm sure that I'm long sighted. I'm quite sure that I'm long sighted. But I'm struggling with um headaches and eyesight and all that. 
And I swear to God, anyone says it's because you're an old woman, Daryl. I'll batter you. Not an old woman. 30 something. Merging into a body of a 50 year old with a friggin' menopause coming on. It's one thing I'm gutted about the menopause. You know, I can't wear my hair down pretty anymore or wear a proper amount of makeup because I could do all that and then an hour later I could have a hot, sweaty moment and it's all melted and my hair's gone frizzy. So it's trying to find lovely um, hairstyles that I can wear that are okay. Yeah, that's the only thing that really annoys me. I'm going shopping soon to Primark. Get myself some jumpers. I'm gonna need them this year. They um they did they pre warned me that this year where some people are gonna be like, Oh no, it's not cold, it's just nice, I'm gonna feel it as freezing cold. So yeah, it's um not looking forward to that at all. So Primark or Primark or however the hell you say it. The shopping can did now. I'm gonna go and get myself some jumpers. Oh no. Excuse me. I'm gonna get myself some jumpers. I'm gonna get myself some warm pants. I'm gonna treat myself to some new clothes because I haven't got any. You know, normally I'll go out and I'll go and get myself some clothes, but I didn't because I got told that I'd lose weight. So I thought there's no point. Now all my pants have got mini holes in it. Amy Kappa, do not laugh. You're not Amy Kappa anyhow. Ah, oh, Amy Davis. Do not laugh about my hole in the back of my leg in Asda yesterday. But in all truth, if I could have got away with it, I would have gone to Asda in my PJ bottoms. I was that, you know. But, um, yeah, I just need new pants and new tops. So I think I'm going to treat myself. Because I haven't really... I've bought myself the necessity things I needed. Like I needed a new coat and I went out and I bought myself that. But I'm terrible, I won't spend on myself, you know. I won't. I bought myself a, a, a new jumper yesterday only because it was really cheap. And I felt gammy for spending it. It was only something like four, four or five pound. I felt really awful for spending that on myself. So I'm going to have to grip my teeth together and spend a little bit of money on myself. I'm going to get myself some nice jumpers and some nice warm pants. Some nice boots, ready for winter as well. I'm going to get myself a pair of wellies. But the type of wellies that don't look like wellies, if that makes sense. So they're kind of... Nice. So when it's pissing it down... I can go to town with these nice wellies on. Then, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, then I need some pants, some jeans, and some tops. So methinks a trip to a some dids is in order. But. So if you people see me around town recently and I look angry and grumpy, it's because I am. No, it's because I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm starting to go through the menopause. I'm not sleeping. You know, like I said, I will get these days where I'm perfectly fine. And... Um... You know, walking about normal, you know, feeling okay. Past few days after last brachy therapy, I haven't been doing too good. I've been very tired. As you can hear my voice, my voice is a bit croaky. So I don't know if I've caught a cold off anyone or... Yeah, and I'm very itchy all over as well. That's something I noticed last night. 
a little spot on me and all the itchy. But who said it? One of my mates said it could be the morphine. But I've been on this morphine now for a while, actually. July time I went on it, I think. And um, yeah, it doesn't it hasn't made me itch before. So I'll have to see. But yeah. It's over there sighing because you can't play with Elsa anymore. So yeah, I'm going to go now. Have a wash. Brush my teeth. Try and wake myself up a bit. Get Aria some clothes and go for a walk. To um, Asta. Yeah, to Asta. I've built up a load of like... Two peas and one peas and ten peas and five peas. And now they're doing heading because every time I hear the cats in the kitchen, I think that they're going to start bickering on the worktops and they're going to knock it all over. And I dread to think what would happen if one of them pennies were left on the floor and Ari had put it in her mouth. So it's a walk up to Asda today, get them all changed. So I've got an empty tub again. And then uh, we'll start again. Yeah, so... I hope everyone has a good Sunday. We're having a Sunday dinner later, about half four or five. I'm going to do a Sunday dinner and uh, see how I go. Anyway, hope you all have a good Sunday. Hope if you're having Sunday dinner out, cooking it, whatever, I hope you have a nice Sunday dinner. Um, welcome to October, people. We're at the month of Halloween. We can now officially buy Halloween chocolates, Halloween candy, toffee apples, chocolate apples. And we can now officially watch Hocus Pocus. Yes. Oh, right. Hope you all have a good week. And remember, have your smears. Please, guys, I can't stress how much you need to have your smears. And it's not a pride thing. God's sake, put your pride to one side for one, two, maybe three minutes, if, if not more. Because believe me, you have no dignity when you go through cervical cancer. There's just no dignity that's stripped away from you. You know, the amount of people that come in and prod you and poked you and ask you so much inappropriate questions is beyond but anyway two, two to five minutes smear saves you from two to five months of pure hell that's the only way I can do it right, I'm going to go before I actually fall asleep doing this blog have a good week people remember have your blogs and start your week off with a nice positive thought and the whole week will be good. Bye bye. Hello. God, I'm so glad to be in bed. Had myself a nice bath. Had myself some nice tea. Now I'm in bed. It's been a bit of a hard day today, I'm not going to lie. So I'm sure that was a notebook more than that. Trap the light from coming out at me, you know. I didn't drop anything behind the cupboard. I didn't do it. But anyway, it doesn't make a difference. The lamp is really small. Anyway, it's been a bit of a hard day yesterday and today. Um, after my latest brachytherapy, I have suffered a fair bit with um, with pain. And I've uh, bled a bit after it as well. But I've had pain on my left side where everything was, but now isn't anymore. So I think it's my body trying to help the fight along a bit, I don't know. 
but hopefully I might see Dr. Bishop tomorrow when I go to see the radiotherapy specialist nurse. So yeah. But yeah, I've been, um, no, it hasn't stopped me from doing anything today. I went shopping to Asda. Um, I couldn't go and see my dad though. So it was a bit, I was a bit upset about that because I just, two reasons I didn't go. One, it was because I, I had to slept about four hours if that was night. And two, I don't want my dad to see me ill. You know, we've told him that I'm, I'm better and all this and all that. Well, I don't want him to see me in pain because the pain that I've been getting <coughs> has been shooting up like, you know, like um, like like someone's tearing away at my 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 guts. Pain. I suppose it's normal, and it does stop me in my tracks. Um. If I'm to be honest, I have been. An emotional roller coaster ball of anger, happiness, and tears today. I've been happy one minute, I've been angry the next, I've been wanting to cry. I don't know if that's the hormones changing from, I don't know, but it's been horrible. I'm not gonna lie. It's been just just horrible because one minute I'm fine, I'm happy, I'm lovey-dovey. And next minute I just want to cry. I feel like the whole world's coming down on my shoulders. And, um, yeah, it's not nice. You know, I don't know if that's a normal part. You know, my um, I suffer with anxiety, like I've said before, on a daily basis. Now, that has flared up recently and it's been horrendous. It's, it's, it's been horrible because it just feels like I can't cope with it at the moment. You know, it's, um, it's not nice. You know, I've, I've been um, pushing myself to clean even though I've, Daryl does it. Apart from this morning, Mr. Ward. But, you know, I'm going back on my old ways where I feel like I need to clean daily. I need to do stuff daily. And I suppose I don't want to be doing that. I don't want to be feeling like that. You know. So, uh. No, I, um, I need to take a bit of time out for me, I think. <sighs> like the pain that I'm getting, I'm getting it now. It's just, uh, just like here, just here, and all up here. It's just like a, a, a um, a st I can't really explain it. It's like a, a dull, aching pain when it doesn't hurt real bad. So I don't know. But I'll speak to him tomorrow. The nurses in Emirate and Glen Clwyd are absolutely wonderful. So if I have got a problem with something like that, I can go speak to Cathy tomorrow. She'll tell me what's what. Um, so, yeah. I thought I'd just give you a little bit of a heads up like of what kind of day I have had. Because I see you all congratulating me on getting better. And I am very better. But no, there might be some days where I look really ill. I still do get them days, guys. I still do get the ill days. I still do get the days where I'm in a bit of pain. So if it looks like I'm ignoring you and I'm rushing off somewhere, probably I'm just trying to get home. Or I seriously need the toilet and I can't I can't hold it to talk to people nowadays, I'm afraid. So please don't be offended if you see me in the street and I don't acknowledge you or something because I'm telling so I tell them I'm in so much pain sometimes. I, I don't know where I, if I'm coming or going. So, uh, yeah, but I've taken my zoom off. Now you'll have to excuse me because I can feel my body going a bit like that. I've taken my um, zapping.
tonight. So I'm a little bit sleepy. So I can hear Mr. Ward letting the dogs out for a pee. His favourite TV programme's on, as is mine, it's my favourite. Uh, the Force, that police. I can see I'm struggling to keep my eyes open in this video. Ugh. Anyway, we're going to watch that if I stay awake long enough. Remember, tomorrow's a Monday. If you haven't booked your smear, please do so. Get it done. Believe me, the two minutes of indignity and embarrassment is nothing compared to what you'd have to go through. But yeah, go get your smears done. Go and be happy. Have a good Monday. Mr. Ward's coming to bed. Oh no, Odin, get down. Odin, get down. Odin's got a dodgy tummy. Go lie in your own bed. He's not happy. He wasn't allowed any dinner tonight because we fed him a little bit of biscuit earlier and he was sick. And then he ate a little bit of grass outside and he was sick with that. So if he's still the same tomorrow, we're going to have to take him to the vets to check what's the matter with his dodgy belly. I don't know, it could be because I wormed him last week, you see. Get down, Odin, on your own bed. On your own bed, if you... On your own bed, Odin. Odin, on your own bed. Odin, get down. Candy on your own bed. Yeah. Um, yeah, we gave him worming tablets last week. So it could be that that reacted to his tummy a bit. He's got such a sickly little boy tummy. Bless him. Right, Mr. Ward's here now, ready to take where I'm lying. So I can go to my side of the bed, which is here. Don't you touch my wallet, the whip. Don't like it. Okay, away from Well, you can bring it closer to me because I like it. And, and please don't take my milk away. He's looking at me like I'm, I'm, I'm wasting his time. Anyway, Monday. Book your smears. Have a good Monday. Always start your day with a positive thought. Enjoy your week, people.